Action Aid has organized a two-day stakeholders consultative meeting towards the making the 2022 agriculture budget all-inclusive. Participants appealed to the government and security operatives to find a lasting solution to the challenge of insecurity. Ola Awakon reports. The National Bureau of Statistics in its latest report revealed that food inflation index, which dropped from 22.72% recorded in April 2021 to 22.28% in May 2021, is the second consecutive decline in the food index. This is a reflection of the food inflation which is on the rise in Nigeria due to insecurity and other factors. The president of small-scale women farmers' organization in Nigeria laments how production of farm produce has reduced drastically because of insecurity. They don't know what we are passing through. We don't sleep in the night. When it is night, we either go somewhere to hide so that we are not being carried away by banditry. It's better for rain to beat you than to sleep inside your room and somebody will come and carry you. It's a very pathetic situation. And if we are talking of food security in this country, unless we handle the security situation, food security will never be achieved in this country. Mary Afon explains the aim of this consultative forum. Here we are actually talking that the 2022 budget should be a budget of inclusion by making sure that women are actually captured, especially smallholder women farmers, because they do the majority of the farming activities that put the food on the, food, the table of every household. The need to find a lasting solution to insecurity issues dominated the discourse. And what we are trying to urge the security agencies, they should look to their expectation, flush out these criminals wherever they are, sustain operations and ensure that there is peace and stability in this country. Because Nigeria, if there is a coordinated operation, this issue of Boko Haram and this issue of uh, banditry and criminality, wherever is their hideout, if the fight is rich there, I think it will be a thing of the past. One of the key observations at the Action Aid Consultative Forum is that smallholder women farmers have continually been given a back seat in the discussion, planning and implementation of agricultural budget, despite their role of contributing over 70% productions. Hence, the call for inclusive budget allocation. We need to feed our teaming population. I'm feeding our teaming population. We need to have a, a capacity building and based on and also a proper budgetary provision for the sector to grow. Young farmers are, however, advised to go into agriculture to help grow the economy of the country. There are some loans that are genuinely given from good sources. And therefore, if it is not a thing of fear that one should stay behind and be thinking, I can't get the money. The monies are there. Let them take a step and they will find it and they will work and they will beef this country with enough food to eat and they can also export to other countries of the world. A key observation at this consultative forum is that for the sustainability of social security and peace in the country, the rising hunger should be defeated. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.